What's up everyone? So today we're going to show you how to do SEO. Simple, fast, and easy. And you follow these steps and you'll do great. We do and we're doing it full time out of our basement. Yeah, Etsy SEO is what we're going to be talking about, but it really relays to SEO probably for just about anywhere online. Some things may differ a little bit, but for the most part, SEO is SEO. Yep. If you don't know, SEO is search engine optimization. It's basically with words, how people find you. So now with all that, uh, we want to introduce ourselves. I'm Matt. I'm Sarah. We own a laser engraving business. We run out of our, out of our basement full time and we do vlogs on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mondays we do a garden video or a greenhouse video and Wednesdays I do my bee business I've just started up and we're just going to be starting that soon because spring is in here. Mm-hmm. And Fridays we take turns, give each other usually a break, but I'm helping Matt today. Usually it's a laser or business related video, but we kind of do this part together. So we yep. figured we'd do the video together. And we like to do it together because we both have um, different angles. So this way we have two different people with two different ideas. So mm -hmm. and it helps. So let's get right into it. What we like to do, or I like to do is open up your listing. You can tell we have this listing. It's a blocks. We do not have our like real life um, photo in here. Uh, your best thing to do is fill up all the photos. So that's lacking. We have to change that. We need to add three more photos in here to help. Also at towards the end of this video, somewhere hidden towards the end, we will have a golden tip. And this tip will really give you a leg up in our, in our eyes. Mm -hmm. So let's get to it. So now the title. I have the title, there's nothing in it. I'm gonna redo it all. And this is at this part of the SEO. I'm gonna go over here. We have a new screen up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in baby gift and see how it comes up. Now you can use these in, so like baby gifts personalized. It's being searched a lot. So what I'll do is I'll grab this, copy it, and put it in here. And that's gonna be my main one. So then you wanna hit a comma, space bar. And then what we do is I'll be like, Sarah, what words do you wanna type in? Um, I guess if I was looking for a baby gift like this and I didn't know what I was looking for, I would search unique baby gift. When she was typing, it came up and you can see a unique baby gift girl. So if it's a girl gift, you can type that in also just for more options. But we're gonna go with unique baby gift because right when she typed unique, it came up as baby gift right away. So let's put that in there. Now what I like to do also is I'll type in, because uh, we know what it is so it's a baby block what you also can do now is you can see these are ads please don't click those you just costing someone money and that's just not nice so go down to your next this would be your first line and you can see this says bestseller 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 you can't add this. This is only added from Etsy. Etsy gives you this. So what we would do is look on here. So we would click into this one. And now we look, personalized baby block, wooden baby block, unique baby gift, twin baby gift, new parents baby gift, personalized baby block. Now we would take things out of here if we like it. But remember these because now we're going to go and look at some other blocks. Like this is a bestseller. You can tell it's by someone else, a different shop. They both had personalized baby block as the first words in their description. So we know on these two blocks, they both had this word. So we're going to go back to ours and we're going to put that in there. The reasoning is, is because both these blocks are bestsellers. 
So you don't want to use the same same words as them because you want to have your own words also so you get found different ways because people, everyone's search is so different. And I'm going to show you because I have one more search term I want to put in here and I haven't seen it yet. So then we'll look at, let's see, we haven't looked at this one. New baby gift is again. So what I'm going to do is Oops. Baby. <laughs> so I'm going to put in custom baby gift. I haven't seen that word and I like to use it when I search stuff. So I'm going to throw that in there and see if it would help us out. I think the important thing to note is to not get stuck putting words in that are an exact description of it and also not to get stuck putting in the generic description because there's going to be people who are looking for your item like ours is a baby block who are specifically looking for a baby block. They know what they're looking for, but there's also people out there just looking for a baby gift and they don't know what that gift is yet. So you want to attract those people as well. And also try not to uh, keep repeating yourself. Like I'm looking at this and we have um, personalized a couple of times in here. So we could take one out. So we can go and just do baby gifts. And it also will free up some more words. Sometimes I'll actually pull up like the source.com and type in a word that I can't think of another word for it so for baby i might use the word newborn or um infant Whoop. i don't know that i spelled it right so and then we'll also come in here and it's it's also good to go down a little farther because there's going to be other blocks in here and other people you can see this block is right here it's actually ranking pretty good <laughs> but we can do better you Just, always can yeah. do better yeah it's a four dollar block so nursery decor i like that one So you can see now we're getting close. We have eight words left to put in here. So I think it'd be pretty safe to say boy and girl. Oh, not quite, not quite safe. <laughs> so the other trick you got here is see I got a space in between. You can just take that out and leave the comma there and it'll still work. So, and then after that, you want to make sure everything else is filled out. And also, a good, rule of th a good rule of thumb that we both like to play off of is playing by Etsy's rules. And she'll talk a little bit about that as far as the shipping. Yeah, so no matter what <clears throat> online platform you're using, they're going to have these suggestions. And what we always say is that if they're suggesting something, they're showing you that it has value to them and we need to listen to that and we need to embrace it. One of the hardest things for us was we now offer free shipping if somebody has an order of $35 or more. Etsy started, it was actually probably a few years ago and they had a contest for sellers Every time you shipped something with free shipping or free shipping of orders of $35 or more, you were entered into this contest and then someone won money. Well, what it told us right then, right there when they announced the contest is, ooh, they want us to have free shipping. And that was really hard for us. And we have not fully adapted to offering free shipping on all our items. Instead, we just kind of have that $35 or more. Well, now Etsy gives priority placement in search to those who have free shipping or free shipping with $35 or more. What we know is that eventually we will have to offer free shipping on everything because they're showing us that that holds value, unless that changes. Also, when you're doing your listing, they have a part right here, you can do a video. They just, this is all new yet. Uh, we haven't done one. We've tried messing around with it mm -hmm. and actually our 
all the videos we've done was way too high quality, so we need to go through and fix that. <laughs> we need to figure out how to have lower quality video. <laughs> but that there again, it goes also by playing by their rules. And I think if you put videos in there, you there's not too many out there and Etsy will also push you. Mm -hmm. So, and the other thing now, we're gonna go down. You wanna make sure you have your description filled out like to the T. So people, you can always refer back to it. People should never have questions about your product, and if they do, it should be something they could have found the answer to. Absolutely. So now we're down to t tags and materials. So tags, you want what people are gonna search. You want your all the tags that basically are in your title up top, all of in your tags. And also the materials, you're gonna wanna use what you used, but also put more tags in there. It's gonna only help. Fill it out. Don't let it sit empty at all. Make sure they're always, all, always filled no matter what. Yeah, again, this is just a way people are finding you. And that materials one, it's tripped us up for a bit. And I think that slows people down a lot because they'll type in things like wood, paint, and things like that. Like what materials did I use? When you could type in the keyword wooden block or wooden right. baby block where it's still a uh, it's still a tag word that somebody could search for, but it's also explaining the material. Absolutely. And so with all this, if you do all that, you're gonna be just fine. Um, we've been doing this now for full time for a while, and this is what we do. So, and then on top of it, the, the other golden tip that I would have to say was be active in your shop. Now that's not just going in your shop and looking around, scrolling around, like go in there and pick an item every couple days, look at your items, cause look and see which one's not moving, not getting views, cause it'll say it in there. And when you're in there, look at it and go into that one, change some words. Every time you're in there moving around, Etsy's gonna notice it and they're gonna push you forward more. Now the other golden tip, I actually got two of them. And one of them is the shipping. Some people don't think this, but we've done a couple of different studies on this a couple of times we've done it. And the more you are down to zero open orders, the more you get pushed. Oh, I, I we cannot even hit zero open orders. We get like a little bit close to zero and all of a sudden we get quite a few orders. So whether that's just coincidence, it's just, it's rang true for us that if you are on top of your stuff, if you're shipping out stuff early, it seems like you do better. And part of it might be you're getting better ratings from customers as far as reviews. Part of it might be that, or there's something going on behind the scenes that we just don't know about yet. Yep. The reviews are also the number one thing that you want. And don't go ask for your, we've never asked for reviews, mm -hmm. but I've never what? even asked anyone to remove a review. We have fixed problems for people after they left yep. a negative or before they've left a negative yep. review. It's always before. And yeah. I've never asked them to remove it. Um, just tends to be a customer service thing from our perspective. But I think if you always do things honest, right to your best ability, it will pay off. Whatever work you put in, yep. you get it back. And that's the other golden tip I was going to say. It would definitely be... <laughs> Sorry. No, the, it would be the the customer service. Always be there for your customers and don't, don't ever give anything away. Like, you're going to see a lot of people that, and we, we, he, oh, we, hear we it all see the this time. Uh, in commercials on YouTube and whatever else you'll see. People be like, yeah, I started my shop and joined this class. So I'll show you what I did. We handed off free stuff for a while and blah, 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 get noticed. No, that doesn't, you don't want that. You don't want those shoppers. Like stay out of that group because giving away free stuff, think about it. They're just gonna want more free stuff. I, yep. I We never did it and yep. we did just fine. Don't, don't fall for that. Yep, it's the same thing. Yeah, just anywhere, even on YouTube. People have giveaways. We never really fell into that because yep. we don't want people who want free stuff and then are going to leave. We want somebody who's looking for this we want genuine, genuine shoppers. Yeah, yeah, and Etsy, we want those genuine shoppers who are looking for what we have. And there certainly are opportunities where you can do that. We have actually worked with influencers. We have sent free things for influencers and pretty much 
that hasn't benefited us in any way. One reached out to us, and the other one we reached out to them actually and sent them something. Yep. And um, the one we sent it out to looked at it and thought it was cool, but then that was it. Like nothing. Like we weren't expecting much, but we just, you know, it was like a Give gift. It a try. And we're like, hey, cool. Uh, the other person that reached out to us told us this long stuff, what they're going to do, how they're going to do it and everything. And we're like, no way. Sweet. Yeah, we'll send it out. We we did that. Uh, we sent it out so fast. We sent it out that day. And she never reviewed it. She never did anything. She had. We saw it in a couple of her videos, and that was it. She never did a video. Nothing. All the yeah. stuff she said, it was nothing. So, and, and that could just be something. We've done it more than that was a couple times. But yeah, those are the ones, I, those really are the ones that stand out the most. But you certainly can get ahead doing those kind of things but I don't think those are the golden tickets and I think that's what people get stuck on they think if I give enough away give things away enough I'm going to suddenly make money because people are going to come back for more or yep. they think if I get in front of the right person we've had we know people who have sold their items to celebrities and got nothing other than the sale from it yep it is completely possible to get nothing as far as a big boost. And and that's fine. Yeah. Sorry if I, I kind of ordered that wrong. but I'm going on a rant. Yeah. That's what I mean. Rant. Rant. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you guys, I hope this really helped. Um, we had a lot of people asking about it. It's kind of a quick one. Uh, you can. There is some stuff you can get really into depth and far as you And know, there's craziness. software too. I yes. mean, we have tried. We've tried a lot. We've tried, um, I think it was SEO book and marmalade yep i think those are the two we've mainly tried and our person i personally don't want to pay the monthly payment i didn't think it was worth it and what we did right here works just fine and switching up words and talking to your significant other or even your mom and dad and say hey and plop something in front of them that you're making mm -hmm. and say how would you search this or yep. what would you how would you do this what words would you use and do that to a couple people and start using those words play around the main thing is is to stay in your shop and be active and Etsy notice that also will push you up. Exactly. If you're in your shop and you're making these changes, you notice when something's not selling or when something is. If you're depending on a software to tell you that something's good or not, you're already kind of in trouble because you don't really know what's going on. Yep. So if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. And if you guys want to see more of our videos, subscribe down below. Glad you got Glad to see you us got again. Glad you got to see us again. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>